A really difficult thing when learning about GST is learning how to calculate the amounts of GST. So, and that's because any transaction involving GST actually has three things you need to determine. There's something that's called the GST exclusive amount. And then we add 10% GST on that. So GST is 10% of what we call the exclusive amount. And that will equal what we call the GST inclusive amount. So just taking a very basic example, let's take this bottle of Coke here. And the GST exclusive amount might be $3. 10% GST on top of that. So 10% of $3 would be $0.30. Cents. So the GST inclusive amount will be $3.30. And what's uh, sort of different is we don't probably use these words GST exclusive or inclusive as people. Like you don't say that. How much did your Coca-Cola cost you? And you go, the inclusive amount was $3.30. No one talks like that. But in business, we need to be aware of these numbers. So what we could look at it and go, well, actually, the price of the Coke was $3.00. That's the exclusive amount. There was a 10% tax on that. And the inclusive amount was $3.30, which as people we'd probably just say, well, that's the amount I paid for it. So you can think of inclusive as the amount you paid for everything. Um, and for a lot of transactions, these amounts will be relatively easy to figure out. So let's take some examples. Example number one, the business paid $1,000 for marketing plus GST. So we've got $1,000. So when it says paid $1,000 and it says plus GST, that must mean that $1,000 is the exclusive amount. So that's $1,000. Now, you can probably in your head go, well, 10% of 1,000 is 100. So the GST inclusive amount there must be 1,100. Example number two, inventory was bought for $5,000 on credit. And again, it says exclusive. Instead of saying plus, it says exclusive. That actually means the same thing. That means that whatever you bought, in this case, inventory was $5,000 exclusive plus 10% GST. And in your head, you can probably go, that's 500. Well, that's a total of 5,500. What about this one? Example number three, cash of 220 was paid for phone and internet expenses and it says including GST. So that must mean that's the blue number here. That's the GST inclusive of 220. Now in your head, you might be able to go, well, if that was 220 and that's got 10% tax on it, then the GST exclusive amount must have been 200 and the GST was $20. So that's a total of 220. Example number four, a new computer was purchased for 4400 inclusive of GST. So again, that's the final figure here in blue. And in your head, you can go, well, yeah, that, that would have been $4,000 exclusive plus 10% tax is 400. So they're ones that aren't relatively difficult. You can probably look at those and do them in your head. But what about if you get some really tricky ones, which you will throughout the year? Let's take some other examples. What about if the business paid $1,010 for marketing? plus GST. So you know that's 1,010, but then the other numbers aren't as obvious and you don't want to trust yourself just guessing. You kind of want a formula. What about this one? Inventory was bought for $5,200 on credit exclusive of GST. So you know this number, but again, it might be obvious off the top of your head what the other two numbers are. Example number three, cash of 253 was paid for the phone, including GST. So that's that, but then it's not easy to figure out those other numbers in your head. And lastly, example number four, a new com computer was purchased for 4840, and again, that says inclusive of GST, that's that number there, but yeah, what are the other numbers? And these are all numbers you could potentially get. So what we need is a system or a formula for when we do get a number involving GST, an easy way to calculate it. And there's basically four little formulas we're gonna need, and we're gonna divide them into two scenarios. Let's start with scenario A. I have the GST exclusive amount and I need to calculate either the 10% GST and or the GST inclusive amount. So what we would do there to find the GST, we would go that equals the GST exclusive amount and we times it by 10%, which in your calculator would be 0 0.10. Or to get the GST inclusive amount, we take that GST exclusive amount and instead of timesing it by 0 0.1, we times it by 1.1. So that is how we get 10% GST or the GST inclusive amount when we have the GST exclusive amount. Now, the other scenario might be scenario B, I've got the GST inclusive amount, but I need to calculate the GST exclusive and or the 10% GST. So we're just going to tweak our formulas here. We're going to say to calculate GST exclusive amount, I would take the inclusive amount and divide it by 1.1. And to get the GST, I would take that GST inclusive amount and divide it by 11. And I'm sure at the end of that, you're lost. We've used the words inclusive and exclusive that many times. You must be so bored. So what we need to do is really just go, well, <clears throat> excuse me, let's look at some scenarios where we might actually have to calculate these things. So let's take an example. Let's go back to the ones we looked at and said, oh, that's not all that obvious. Example number one, the business paid $1,010 for marketing plus GST. 
So I've got this number, but I need this one and or this one. All right, so let, that's a scenario A. I have the number in green, the exclusive, but I need the other numbers. All right, I'm just going to use this formula. There's two I could use. I'm going to use this one. GST at 10%. So that was the GST exclusive amount, which is $1,010. I'm going to times that by 0 0.1. And if I do that, I will get $101. What does that mean? That means that the GST is $101. And now I have that, I can just add these two numbers together and go on this transaction, the total or inclusive amount was actually $1,111. Let's look at example two. Inventory was bought for $5,200 on credit. And yeah, you don't have either the GST or the inclusive amount. That's scenario A. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the other version of the formula this time. I'm going to go and find this blue number, this inclusive amount. And to do that, I'm going to do GST exclusive, that's 5200. And instead of timesing it by uh, 0 0.1, I'm going to times it by 1.1. And if I do that, I'll get 5720. So that must mean this number here is 5720. And I can use my calculator and go, well, if the inclusive amount was 5720, and the GST exclusive was 5200, the number in between here, the GST, must have been $520. What about example number three? Cash of $253 was paid for the phone and internet, and that includes GST, so I've got the inclusive amount, but not either these two numbers here. So that is scenario B. All right, I'm going to figure out this green number. I'm going to use this formula. I'm going to take the exclusive amount, and I'm going to, sorry, the inclusive amount here, I'm going to divide it by 1.1. So that is $253, that's this number here. I'm going to divide that by 1.1, and that will give me the exclusive amount. And if I do that, that's 230. So this number here is 230. So that must mean if I could just get my calculator and go with the difference between those two numbers, the GST must have been $23. And last example, a new computer was purchased for 4,840 inclusive of GST. That's an awful number. But to look at that in your head, it's really difficult to do. So we need the formula. So I'm going to use scenario B. I've got the GST inclusive amount. I'm just going to tweak it around this time. I'm going to get the GST. So I'm going to say, all right, so in this one, I'm going to take the inclusive amount of 4840, and I'm going to divide it by 11. And if I divide that by 11, that is $440 of GST there. And that must mean the difference between this number, 4,940, and $440, that gives me the exclusive amount of 4,400. So that was a really long video, so we want to pause this, stop it, and go back. But basically, we just want to summarize it and go, all right, to calculate GST, there's kind of two scenarios. Scenario A, I have the GST exclusive amount, but I don't have the GST or the inclusive amount, and we've got our two formulas there. And lastly, scenario B. I have the GST inclusive amount, but I need to calculate the GST exclusive and or the 10% GST. And I've got my two formulas there. So we probably want to get this down as a note and have it in front of us for the rest of the year because there is no situation outside of this that we could possibly give you as a question. Everything to do with GST can be calculated with all the formulas on this screen here.